Good afternoon and welcome to the open house. My name is Therese Vernier. I am the program coordinator and also a professor in the health informatics program, also known as T402. Thank you so much for being here today to listen to this presentation on the health informatics program. Just going to um, talk a bit about the program. The program is three semesters. Uh, but before I continue, um, were there any questions, uh, pressing question questions that you might have had about the program? Uh, before I go through the presentation, you can put those in the Q&A. And I'll just wait for them to appear and I'll just keep talking. So for uh, uh, Nick, uh, Question, will we get recordings? Uh, yes, uh, a recording of this session will be available after the open house is completed. Great, thank you. All right, so the health informatics program is three semesters and um, you will have um, a lot of work to do. So I just want to approach this right away with people who are considering coming into the health informatics program. Um, it is, uh, there is a lot of work to do. Uh, I want you guys, I want everyone to come into health informatics. That would be wonderful. But also I would like people to be aware that um, of the heavy course load. Now, if you're single and uh, you have someone who cooks your meals and does your laundry and all that, and you're not working, then you know the course load is, is manageable. Uh, if you live on your own and you have to do those chores, it's still manageable. But um, if you have a partner and you and your partner have children, it gets a bit more difficult. Uh, if you have a partner, you have children, and you're working part time, uh, the course load, uh, you know, will take up a lot of time. So you'll have to, you know, do some juggling in your personal life. If you have a partner, have children, work full time, uh, I just want to let you know, just uh, listen to what I'm going to say about the course schedule and the work involved, and then you can decide if this is actually something you can do. I do uh, let people know about this because some people in the past have come into the program and they don't realize how much work it is and then they, they have to drop out just because of other obligations. So, um, uh, Syed, uh, your question about type of cert certifications, um, uh, uh, Tyler can answer, can answer that. Um, so in the first semester, you have seven courses. Uh, in the second semester, you have six courses. Um, you will be in class uh, four or five nights a week, uh, six to 9 p.m. Uh, some nights you will not have class, but that means there will be a couple of days during the week where you will be in class from 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. And you will also be in class all day Saturdays. The first semester, you will have class all day with me. Uh, the second semester, you will have another course where it's most of the Saturday. Um, we do have a lot of group assignments in the courses. So you will learn how to uh, juggle multiple projects with multiple people with various competing deadlines. This is actually a really good skill for you to acquire time management and working collaboratively with a lot with a, a team. So that is a good skill for you to acquire. Um, the thirds and this is, is going to go on for your first and second semesters. Your third semester experiential learning is where you will put into practice the skills you have acquired during the health informatics program. We have co-op and we have work integrated project. The college does not guarantee a co-op placement. I just wanna make that clear. The college does not guarantee a co-op placement. 
we try as much as possible to find opportunities for you. And this year, we've been pretty good at finding opportunities. Um, I'd say most of them in the health informatics program have been unpaid, and th that's the nature of healthcare, very constrained budgets. But whether it's paid or unpaid, the co-op does give you uh, some valuable experience that you can put on your resume when you go and look for your first full-time job in, in health informatics. If you cannot find a co-op, and we encourage students to find co-op on their own, and we do have some networking events where you can meet people and start networking with people outside of the college. Um, we have work integrated project. This is unpaid and uh, it's a course, so it's my course. And um, we have partnered with a platform called Ripen where we can find projects for students and so you will be working with a client that I have found for you. And the number of hours for that varies a, a lot on uh, the type of project that is found, but it will be a minimum of 80 hours and it could end up being a maximum of two or 300 hours. Um, just to answer Fatine's question, um, right now we are completely online. Uh, and we will be online for the foreseeable future. We're online until public health tells us it's safe to get back together again in a large crowd. Uh, when we are not in a pandemic, the uh, health informatics program is 90% on site. There are two courses, one in the first semester, one in the second semester where it is online, and that's to give students a break from having to come to college every day. Um, next slide. Uh, as I mentioned, all courses have group assignments. So all courses have one or more group assignments. All courses are online until further notice. If you're wondering where your co-op or work integrated project comes from, where you would be working, hospitals, vendors, startups, social enterprises. Hospitals uh, mostly want people to be on site. The other um, organizations, vendors, startups, social enterprises, <coughs> excuse me, they're fine with people working from home, people working remotely. Typical attributes of a successful student, self-starter, someone who shows a lot of initiative, ability to plan their work using the course outlines, you're going to have a lot of assignments due. I highly recommend you look at the course outline for each course during the semester and make yourself a spreadsheet with a schedule. What is due when? This will help you plan your work. So please use the course outlines. Go to each class. Um, this is where your networking starts with your fellow students. If you enjoy new challenges, you're gonna love this program. And if you're, you're here for the business analysis program, you will love that program as well. Because if you like a challenge, this is the place for you. And also someone who learns how to network. I know networking, you know, kind of like makes you uncomfortable and all that. Please try to get over that discomfort. I used to be uncomfortable about that too, but through networking is how I ended up working at the college, which I'm very glad that I am working at the college. So please uh, learn how to network. Um, I've already talked about the commitment for the program. And um, I've only got one minute left because I have to leave some time for Tyler and questions at the end. Um, any questions so far uh, about what I said about the health informatics program? And while you're typing them in the Q&A section, I'll just keep talking. Uh, what the skills you will acquire during the program, business and systems analysis techniques. And if you're a clinician, business analysis or BA as we call it, um, will uh, be a little uh, surprising for you. It's a whole new way of thinking that you haven't encountered. If you're in IT, you're used to all of this stuff. But if you're a clinician, it will be uh, a learning curve for you. 
what I say to the clinicians in the class is the first four weeks will be a learning curve and after that it will get easier. Stick with the, um, stick with the BA uh, courses because um, you will use this throughout your career, right from your co-op and throughout your career, you will use the business analysis techniques that you are learning in the program. Uh, Prince M, to answer your question, there are no classes in the morning hours on the weekdays. On Saturday, it'll be 9 to 12 and 1 to 4. Uh, there are a couple of afternoons where you're at 3 o'clock. Most of the time during the week, it'll be at 6 o'clock. And yeah, and uh, Nick will make the uh, recording available to you, Syed. Uh, Prashant, no. <laughs> no, Shima, that's a totally different uh, program at George Brown College. That's health information management. Uh, and you can Google that on the George Brown site. You can use a search function on the George Brown site. Health information management, if you want to be Shima certified. Um, in this course, sorry, in this program, you'll also learn project management. Uh, very important skill to have in healthcare informatics because a lot of implementations of health IT systems are done via project management. Um, the soft skills you will acquire working in a team, time management, writing, and presenting to an audience. Just quickly about our advantages. Uh, well, accessible by TTC. That's great when we're not in a pandemic. Our faculty is uh, very knowledgeable. Uh, some of them work in healthcare and they are a source for co-op. So that's good. And we also have the field education office that helps us with co-op as well. Um, I'm going to stop now because it's 1242 and I, I really should let uh, Tyler take over so he can tell you about the BA program. Thank you all for listening.